In the circuit represented below, the armatures, connecting wires and switch have negligible resistance, while the voltmeters have a very high resistance. X is a resistor with an unknown resistance. Uh, the battery has an EMF of 18 volts, uh, while its internal resistance is unknown. And then it goes on to say that switch S is now closed. Uh, ammeter A2 read 0 0.8. Uh, 3 amps right so here on a2 let's denote that we have 0 0.3 amps and then it goes on to say that uh, voltmeter v2 uh, reads 6.8 volts so let's go to voltmeter v2 and indicate that we're reading 6.8 um 6.8 what 6.8 uh, volts and then 8 point one says define the term emf of a battery we know that the emf of the battery is the maximum energy provided by a battery per unit charge passing through it or is the work done per unit column of charge right uh, you can use one between those two definitions uh, it's allowed and then 8.2 says calculate the reading on ammeter a1 so let's follow the current right uh, this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal uh, the current flows from the positive to the negative uh, we are told that switch s is closed right uh, so the current is flowing in this manner so uh, there goes our current there goes our current and then clearly here at uh, a1 uh, the ammeter we are interested in is a uh, total current right it so what is what 8.2 is asking us to do is to find it but then we cannot use uh, emf is equals to v external plus v internal because we don't know the internal resistance but what we can do here uh, with this 30 ohm resistor right we can find vp here and then after we have found vp we can then say that uh, vp is equals to i multiplied by um, the 20 ohm resistor and find the current uh, on this path right if we find the current on that path and we know the current on this path uh, then we can just add the two and they will be equals to it why am i saying we're gonna add the two and they are equals to it because at this point here the current divides but then even though it divides it will still add up to it right so let's go ahead and do that so we can say that vp is equals to i uh, multiply by uh, the resistance of the 30 ohm resistor so what is the current on that path where we have a2 uh, that is 0 0.3 uh, multiply by 30 ohm so our vp will be equals to 9 volts right so now uh, this is when we are using the 30 ohm resistor now we can pay our attention to the 20 ohm resistor the 20 ohm resistor uh, is in parallel right and is the only resistor there so we will also have vp uh, being equals to i uh, let's just call this i2 right uh, the current on this path uh, multiplied by the resistance of the 20 ohm resistor so the uh, vp we already said is 9 uh, we're interested in i2 uh, multiply by 20 right so we basically divide in both sides by 20 and if we do that uh, we get i2 is equals to uh, 0.45 amps so here on this path uh, on a2 we have 0.3 amps and then on this path here we have 0.45 amps so uh, that will tell us it uh, right or the reading on a1 is equals to 0 0.3 uh, plus 0 0.45 uh, which is equals to 0 0.75 uh, amps right and then we can move to 8.3 8.3 says calculate the total external resistance of the circuit so now that uh we have it right uh we know the reading on v2 uh it is it is said to be equals to 6.8 volt right so now we can just say uh for the x uh resistor 
uh, V is equals to I multiply by R. So what is the voltage there? The voltage is 6.8 and that is equals to uh, the current which is 0 0.75 because it is experiencing I total, right? And then multiply by uh, X. So let's see resistance X here. So we divide in both sides by uh, 0 0.75. So we're gonna get uh, that the resistance of X is equal to um, 6.8 divided by 0 0.75, uh, which is equal to 9.06 ohm. But then that's not all we are asked to do. We are asked to find the uh, total external resistance of the circuit, right? So clearly, uh, resistor X is in series. So now we can say that RS is equal to 9.06 ohm. Uh, now, now what we can do is to find uh, RP, the resistance in parallel, right? Uh, so we can say that 1 divided by RP is equal to 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2. So we're going to have 1 divided by RP is equal to 1 divided by 20 plus 1 divided by 30. So RP will be equal to 1 divided by 20 plus 1 divided by uh, 30 to the minus 1. Uh, if you put that in your calculator, uh, you're going to get 12 ohms. So now we can say that uh, the total external resistance, right, will be equal to the resistance in parallel plus the resistance in series. So that will be equal to 12 plus uh, 9.06, which will be equal to 21.06. Uh, point zero six ohms and then we have determined uh, the total external resistance of the circuit uh, now we can move to 8.4 8.4 says calculate the internal resistance of uh, the battery right uh, we have the emf uh, we have it right uh, the total current we have R external, uh, we need a uh, small R or the internal resistance, right? Uh, we know fully well that EMF is equals to the current multiplied by R external uh, plus uh, in internal resistance, right? So we're basically going to be solving for internal resistance here. So we're going to have 18 uh, being equals to the current, which is 0 0.75 multiplied by 21.06. Uh, plus R, right? So here what we can do, we can say that 18 uh, divided by 0 0.75 is equal to 21.06 plus R. Uh, so 18 divided by 0 0.75 minus 21.06 is equal to R. Uh, so if you put that in your calculator, uh, you're gonna find that uh, R is actually equals to uh, 2.93 uh, amps. So uh, there we have done 8.4 and now let's move to 8.5. 8.5 is saying resistor X is now replaced uh, with another resistor of lower resistance, right? Mm -hmm. So we know that R external is equals to RS uh, plus RP. So if RS is only the X uh, resistor, and then now it is replaced with a lower resistance, then R external will go down, right? Uh, let's carry on and read our question. How will the reading on voltmeter V1 be affected by this change? Uh, write down only increase, uh, decrease, or remain the same. Uh, V1 is connected across uh, our battery, right? Uh, but when the switch is closed, it's gonna read V external. So what happens uh, to V external when we re when we reduce uh, the resistance on resistor X? The reading on V1 or V external uh, will decrease. Uh, more on that on a second. Uh, because on 6.8.6, .6, we are supposed to explain that, right? So let's talk about it. So we know fully well that EMF is equals to V external uh, plus uh, V internal, right? Uh, sometimes it is called uh, V lost. So let's talk about this. Uh, v external is I multiplied by R external. And then V internal is I multiplied by internal resistance. So we're saying that R external decreases, right? When R external decreases, 
i i here goes up right this i here, here goes up but the internal resistance remained the same right the internal resistance remained the same so because the internal resistance remained the same uh v internal uh increases right v internal increases um but we need emf to still be constant because emf is a constant right so emf is constant now you can see that if uh, v external goes down v internal should go up if v internal go up uh, v external should go down so here consequently uh, v external uh, will decrease so the question you might ask yourself is that but i know fully well that v is equals to i multiplied by r so since uh, the resistance uh, went down and the current went up shouldn't v external stay the same the thing is uh, even though the current is going up, right, uh, it won't go up in such a way that V external will go up or remain the same. It will still go down because V internal is going up and we need EMF to remain a constant.